Hi everyone, this is Andy plus AI. Today we're taking a look at a module that seriously changes what you can do with I2C devices on the Cart Peter Advance, the PaHub 2.1. If you've ever tried connecting two identical I2C modules, like two scroll units with the same address 0x40, you already know, it simply doesn't work. PaHub fixes this completely. So what is it? PaHub is not a splitter. It's a real I2C multiplexer with six independent channels. The card pewter sees only one I2C address, the address of the PaHub, and the PaHub decides which device should receive the commands, channel 0, channel 1, channel 2, and so on. This means you can connect several identical devices with the same address and they won't conflict at all. To understand why it's special, let's compare it to other hubs. GrowHub, or the regular M5 stack hubs, are just passive splitters. They give you more ports, but all those ports share the same I2C bus. So if two devices use the same address, they will conflict. Nothing you do will fix it. PaHub is different. Each channel is isolated, and only one device is active at a time. That's why it works. Connecting it is simple. PaHub goes into port A, and then you plug your modules, scroll, joystick 2, ENV, keyboard, whatever you like, into the output ports. In the code, you just select the channel, and the device behaves exactly like it's connected directly. Where is this useful? For example, I connected multiple scroll modules to my NES emulator. One scroll was button A, another scroll was button B, and joystick 2 worked as the D-pad, plus an I2C keyboard for start and select. Without PaHub, this setup would be impossible because the scroll units all share the same address. PaHub is perfect for menus, dashboards, games, multi-device UIs, basically anywhere you need several I2C modules running together. There are only a couple of things to keep in mind. You can't read several channels at the same time, only one at a time, and switching channels adds a tiny delay around 1 to 2 milliseconds. But in practice, it doesn't affect anything. Overall, the PaHub 2.1 is a must-have module if you're building anything more complex than a single sensor. It removes address conflicts, lets you connect multiple identical devices, and makes your card pewter advanced projects way more flexible. The test code and examples will be on my GitHub link in the description. Thanks for watching, and see you next time, nerds.